Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide, and this time we are getting it all in the peaceful walking simulator, Drizzle Path Deja Vu. Now this was developed by Tom Gookboder, his 10th game, East Asia Soft, published by East Asia Soft, and is available for usually $5.79. So when I say walking simulator, I mean walking simulator. There are no enemies to fight, puzzles to do, this is more of a period of self-discovery going on this epic adventure, you know, kind of like Lord of the Rings, I suppose, without any of the actual Lord of the Rings stuff in it. Yeah. Uh, you take on the face of Mrs. Nameless Woman, who embarks across a giant land, atop mountain tops, and all sorts, just to discover what she's truly missing, which is... I don't actually know. Um, still, it's a hell of a walk with no drinks and no burger van in sight, which is always disappointing in the end. Um, <laughs> achievements and trophies-wise, though... Everything is story related, so there's nothing you can actually miss, plus the game path is quite linear, so I won't be speaking much through it, mainly just to crack some wise ass comments now and again, uh, but it is an easy and chilled one, and one you can get done in around half an hour, maybe a few minutes less or so. So, with that being said then, we can now begin. Now, there are just two things that I want to let you know about. As soon as we get out, of the, we're going to start in the water, which is going to unlock our first achievement. But as soon as you get out of the water, you can press the Y button or triangle if you're playing on PlayStation. And that will basically auto walk. So you don't actually have to hold the left stick up. All you've got to do is um, press the right stick to move her in a different direction. That's pretty much it. And if you press the B button or circle button on PlayStation once, you will start running as well. Now you can tell when... Our Mrs. Nameless Woman starts to run or walk because, oh, he had something delicious coming out of his mouth there. That looked like a painful death. Um, but you can tell at the minute we are running. So if you press the B button, she obviously slows down like there. So just press the B button once to start running. The Y button or triangle to uh, auto walk. And then all you got to do is just enjoy the scenery. Enjoy the peaceful land that, I mean, apparently nobody... Has anyone lived here? I mean, it's pretty confusing. I mean, imagine imagine being part of the guys that uh, built this whole, whole, whole land and then nobody lived here. This, uh, Like, is this a Chernobyl 2.0 or something? Did people get radiated? Do people have three eyes? Have fish got large wieners? I don't know. Anyway, just enjoy the scenery for now, anyway. Don't try to think of three-eyed fish with large wieners. I'll haunt your nightmares, trust me. I've had the dreams. Memory is an oddly circuitous thing, often dancing in its own circles, a snake perpetually eating its own tail. We can sometimes swear we've seen something before, in another life, echoes of another existence, so familiar, and yet, we've never been here before, have we? But there is something almost tangible, something we've known before. Perhaps not in the exact same form, but enough. We shake the cobwebs clean and press forward, allowing ourselves to be surprised by whatever may lurk around the next bend. Now it has to be said that even if you enjoy walking simulators, or even if you don't, Shelley Gates, who is the narrator on this game, done a really, really bang up job. It is just completely positively British. But not too British, where like, you know, you're talking like that, or Cockney and stuff. It's just, it's, it's a lovely voice to go with a genuinely lovely game. But wouldn't it be funny if it was a bit more Cockney, you know? Yeah. Doors that will not open for us. Ladders we cannot climb. Sometimes we might even glance an opportunity, gaping wide for the merest of moments. And if we fail to seize that moment while it exists, it might be gone forever. Ships pass in the night. Two molecules temporarily find themselves inhabiting the same space. So many mountains to climb, yet so little time. Oh, 
Hello, hello, hello. Who have we got here up in the sky? That kind of looks like um, Arsenal's goalkeeper Aaron Ramsdale, just as he was about to save James Madison's free kick against Leicester City. Top bins? No problem for Aaron Ramsdale. Oh, and we've got a guy chasing after chickens now. What the hell's going on? This kind of looks... Look, there's Aaron Ramsdale up in the sky, about to make that unbelievable save. And then we got Jamie Vardy looking... He's running off thinking they've scored, and it turns out they didn't. <laughs> ah, football. Goals and such. Life is full of ups and downs. Bottomless pits of despair can soon lead to higher and more heavenly places. One can fall a great distance, only to rise much stronger. And as one ascends and struggles to shake themselves free from their own misty blackness, they also free themselves from the hordes of tiny insects that threaten to consume the brain from the inside. Sometimes the way forward is murky, and other times brightly lit, but mainly it lies somewhere in between. It does help, however, to have some kind of path to follow, otherwise we can find ourselves rudderless and lost. Staying on the straight and narrow can be a challenge at times, but we generally know better than to stray too far to either side, lest we drown in our own indulgence. Well, if we're going to drown in anything, I assume we'd all rather drown in chocolate. That's a hell of a way to go. Unless you're allergic to chocolate, then that's a painful way to go, which, my bad. Unlucky. <laughs> The relationship now this next bit may seem a bit tricky but literally all we're doing is following the light so again this is just these paths seem like you can get lost but do not panic just keep following the lights keep following where i do again it's all just linear as hell as we enjoy our mother's tender confines hmm that's the womb right right i don't like my mother's womb not anymore what did I just say? To the safety we once enjoyed inside our mother's tender confines.
right on our noses. So many shadowy faces whose acquaintances we shall never make. Like seed cast forth into a lover's body, the chances of a successful meeting are scant to say the least. How could the world, once so welcoming, suddenly be so ungracious? Perhaps we've done something to offend? We might never know. Lacking acceptance, we settle instead for bliss and push ever forward toward our destination. Sometimes one's destination becomes clear. Nature sometimes shows us the way. Hidden behind every rock is some secret, calling out to be uncovered. It is up to us whether we choose to lift those rocks and gaze upon whatever lies beneath. Another building. Perhaps there is a friend to be found inside? A companion, even, for the journey which remains ahead. Stranger things have happened. We make so many friends in the course of our many lives. Why not one more in this life? Nope, nope, there is nobody inside. Sorry to disappoint you. Um, it, it, I mean, this could be... We've got another guy up in the sky there. Um, this could be perceived as... Someone who's built this magic land who's gone, wow, can't wait for all the tourists to get here. And then nobody actually came here. Or it could be like that spider island in, uh, I think it's Brazil or something. It's just one whole island covered in spiders. Yeah, but you'd be pretty pissed off, wouldn't you? If you were like, oh, right, finished. Everything's looking brilliant. Right, bring in the tourists and nobody appears. <laughs> you'd be fuming. Or somebody's gone to a little house party, taken some stuff they shouldn't have. And this is their dream right now, <laughs> perhaps. And then who keeps speaking is probably their missus, like, wake up, you drug-addled noob. Anyway. Are we ourselves aware of what we are capable of, should circumstances arise? The death of another can sometimes mean life for us, and vice versa. Perhaps we would do well to follow in the skittish animal's footsteps and make haste ourselves. The rays of the sun give us life via the generosity of plants. The fresher the air that we breathe, the closer the animal within us feels to heaven. The light of day smiles down upon us with a glow all its own and pulls us closer to its bosom to suckle the warmth within. Mm, you know, I'm sure I suckled the warmth within once. Uh, let me just... Uh... And then I got the rest from this guy Ralph in an alley. That's cool. Yeah, and the sweet thing is, the stupid asshole didn't even charge me money for it. He just made me close my eyes and suck it out of a hose. <laughs> close your eyes and suck it out of a hose? Uh-huh, suck it out of a hose, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's where I got it from. This guy, Ralph, made me suck it right out of a hose. Huh? Huh?
They say that up to 60% of the human body is composed of water. Perhaps this is what draws us so frequently in its direction. To immerse ourselves in it, become one with it, return to our natural selves. We cannot deny what we are, despite our efforts to the contrary. The ocean side can be an ideal place to ponder upon the many lives we could have lived. Perhaps this is what draws some people to douse electronically for the lost possessions of others. The beach can hold many secrets, some beautiful, some tragic. The power of both is equal to those willing to dip their toes into the sands of the past, just to see what they can find. They say the average adult body is filled with up to 1.5 gallons of blood. How many bodies would it take to make it rain? How much atrocity would it take to fill a swimming pool? An ocean? But enough of such morbid musings. Come rain or red, we must push forward and never forget our destination. There will always be those jealous of our ambitions. Rats running the same maze, seeking the same mouldy piece of cheese. Whether we win the race is up to us. Though perhaps fate also plays a part. And there need not always be just one winner. But woe be to him who has the misfortune to discover what happens to those who lose. Holy Kate. So the game gets decidedly quite dark here then, we've got a nice hanging dead body there, just, you know, this goes from a period, I mean, there's probably a whole deeper meaning to everything rather than what I'm just yammering on about, but um, yeah, pretty dark right here. So basically you're going to wake up in the snow, now you can actually move the left stick, 
to move said Mrs. Nameless Woman. And then again, press the B button and the Y button again. Uh, you'll have to do this one more time, I think, when you see a bunch of birds up in the sky. You'll have to walk yourself and then press the Y button again to walk. But again, it's all just one linear path until we get to the end. We're about eight minutes away from the end now. Which, if you're not, the, if you get bored with walking simulators, you probably just side your whole collective organs out at that. But come on, you got this. For much of our lives, we seek warmth. Yet sometimes the cold is better. Sometimes the dark is preferable to a ray of sunshine. Sometimes our tribulations give us renewed strength allowing us to push towards our destination with greater vigor than before. We may choose to see the world in black and white, yet it is anything but. The tiny nuances that colour our existence are often invisible to the naked eye, but if one peers closer, the most alluring of cracks can appear, and through these cracks, the most unexpected of hues. We should never seek to tarnish our world with a single brush, The wild is unforgiving at this altitude. Having come this far, we have but one thing on our minds, to gaze upon the truth with the naked eye. Be it bitter or beautiful, it is something that begs to be known. We will suffer its hardships if we must.
In the face of the impossible, we must improvise. Even the most insurmountable of tasks might hide a solution, if we are only willing to look upon the world with different eyes. Do we rise to the challenge, or shuffle away with tails between our legs? Alas, the truth beckons, and it would be rude to disappoint it. Inevitably, our programming leads us to revelation, however sour. We don't always receive the answers that we expect. Could it be that our journey was for naught, by the disclosure that our lives are but an artifice? Our intelligence artificial at best? Surely existence could not be so full. Perhaps it is best that we close our eyes, embrace oblivion, and once again, There we have it then. So, Mr. Bodur's 10th game was a very nice one. Again, everything was brilliant in the game. Beautiful, as well as was uh, Shelly Gates voiceover as well. Just seemed to blend in absolutely perfectly. So, and obviously we've got another easy 1000 to boot as well. So there we go, guys and gals. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game. I hope you enjoyed the guide and that it helped as well. That was the quickest way we could uh, sort of go about it. Um, if it did help, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. And don't forget to check me out on socials, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Patreon. A big, massive shout-out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon, including literally my newest guy there, Eagle069. Thank you very much. You are a legend, my friend. And that is that then, guys and girls. So thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Big love.